Hello everybody. I might be from the pyramids of Giza. Well, somewhere around there. But currently, I'm visiting the pyramids of Mexico. And right in front of me is Teotihuacan. Pretty big, right? Pretty grand. Um, they might actually be like the same size as the ones in Egypt. I mean, when I visited. It might actually be bigger. Uh, kind of crazy. I heard you could climb it. But somebody told me that you're not able to today. Wow. And there's a big one over there too. There's a lot of people too. So let's uh let's climb this these stairs over here and get a closer look. like whistling uh, toys I guess it's like part of a uh, traditional yeah like that it's part of like a uh, traditional Mexican culture I, gu I guess they're animal cults but check out the size of this yeah like see this stairs going up uh, People used to climb them, but uh, I'm not sure if you could... I'm not sure if you're allowed to go up them anymore. Somebody told me. So, I believe this one's called the Pyramid de, de Sol. The Sun Pyramid. Um, so in these pyramids, they used to uh, use them as like religious sanctuaries where they used to worship gods and make sacrifices. So uh, hopefully later we can make a sacrifice, a human sacrifice. Wow, the, the like sheer scale of it is just amazing. Okay, no, I don't know. Yeah. You want me to take you some pictures? No? Yeah. As you can see, there's, uh, there's a lot of tourists. There's a lot of uh, tours, tour guides, you know. I guess they better explain the pyramids. But uh, I don't really like tours. That's kind of why I took a taxi here. And uh, it cost me about like double or triple the price. Um, probably wasn't the smartest decision. So I, I definitely recommend the tour, so you can just go and, uh, you know, they teach you about it. But uh, it was six hours, so I didn't want to waste the whole day going. Uh. But yeah, it seems like they don't let people um, climb the pyramids anymore. Uh, they used to a couple years ago. Um, my mom has a picture where she climbed, you know, I, I believe it was that one in front of us. Uh, but yeah, it would have been cool to see the view up there. But as I'm walking here, I'm like beginning to wonder, you know, what was here? What was on these roads? What was happening? You know, were there shops? Uh, you know, what were they selling? Um, were they putting on shows? Who knows? But now it's a famous tourist spot that people come with their families and visit.
I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at. I guess a painting, a uh, famous, uh, you know, ancient painting. Yeah, so I'm now coming up to the uh, second pyramid. Um, and it looks like there's some columns, maybe some rooms over there. Uh, we'll go check those out in a minute. But they have a rock here, guys. An ancient rock, no matter. To be honest, I don't know what the significance of that rock is, uh, but people are taking pictures of it, so it must be, you know, important or something. Um, for all we know, somebody could have placed that, like, you know, maybe five years ago. Alright guys, and now I'm going to touch the Aztec Pyramid. Here we go. There's proof I was here. You can see the aqueducts coming down. They engraved a place for the water to come down through. Pyramid de Luna. Pyramid de, de Luna. Pyramid of the Moon. So we have the Sun Pyramid over there. Really big one. And then here, a little bit smaller, it's the Moon Pyramid. little Aztec doggy. I wonder what, if he knows what happened here. And here in front of me we have some columns, uh, columned rooms. And uh, I'm, I'm curious what happened inside there. Who knows? So it's a little room and they actually have some wood beams supporting it with these columns. You can see it's lined with more wood. I'm curious if that was uh, done by them back then or done by people now. So there it gives you a little explanation of what that structure actually is. Um, my Spanish isn't really good enough to uh, read all that and translate. So if anybody knows, please let me know. Well, sorry. Let me tell you No, we just have lines of shops uh, selling uh, Mexican style clothing. Hello. Hello. 
What are you selling? Give in this. Quartz, obsidian, 10 colors of obsidian. Ah, obsidian. 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 Ah. Ten different colors. Ah, okay. Bueno. Yo remember amber. 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 Oh, amber. okay. You remember? Look. Amber. Ah, okay. ¿Qué es el uh, significa? Uh, amber es uh, una goma de árbol, de cactus. Ah. Oh. Mira. Es por, por buena suerte. Ah, sí. Oh, okay. buena suerte. Es oh. familia de el incendio, mm. copal, todo eso. Sí. sí. Y también vendo jade. Ah. Jake. Sí. También vendo obsidiana, mira. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Es uh, un huevo. Obsidiana. <laughs> sí, es un huevo. Ok. Hay diferentes colores. Mm. Oh. Gold color. Oh, qué bonito. Gold oh, wow. color. Oh. Black color. Wow. Different. Where do you come from? Nueva York. Ah, welcome. Gracias, amigo. Bienvenido. Ok, amigo. Gracias. Good luck. Ok, buena suerte. Yeah. Nice people. Uh, but they sell a lot of obsidian, you know, amber, amber, uh, you know, crystals. I wonder if this is like where the spiritualism originated. Hola. There's uh, you know, huge gold metal statues. Pretty interesting.